I'm here today with Tom Drivis from Appia Rare Earths and Uranium. Brazil is so hot, Tom. What is happening with your Brazil project, please? Uh, Tracy, uh, thanks for the question. Brazil is very hot. Uh, we actually, um, uh, the next week or two, we're kickstarting another drilling program. We, we have one, Appia has one um, auger drill, and we have or another one. Uh, and potentially we were in or another two drills. So we are uh, planning to uh, to jumpstart a, a, a exploration program. We want to drill uh, at least uh, uh, two or 300 uh, drill holes in the next uh, uh, three, four months in, uh, in two of our ionic zones uh, in, at the PCH project. And then uh, following that, we want to do a forty. Uh, we want uh, the plan is to do a forty-three on a one and a PA on those two um, uh, zones uh, to um, uh, uh, be able to demonstrate to the um, the uh, market that we've got something very exciting, very viable in at uh, the PCH project in Brazil. And of course, you just announced uh, the closing of the first tranche of your private placement this morning. I'm assuming that these funds are going to be used for both the drilling and the completion of this 43101? Uh, yes, uh, Tracy. Yeah, we just announced uh, uh, the, the, close, the first closing of a million uh, 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 $94,000. Uh, the bulk of it is uh, about uh, 863000 uh, dollars is uh, working capital, so that's earmarked for Brazil, or most mostly for Brazil and working capital. And um, it, we're we're yes, we're planning to start uh, to use these funds for the for the exploration program, uh, because we our share price at this such a low uh, level, we didn't want to raise a lot of money, so we wanted to sort of start with this and then move, um, uh, yeah, and then. Uh, uh, look at the situation uh, on the next stage. And of course, our our audience should be aware of the fact that you're not only a majority shareholder, but you took down a piece of this private placement. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I, I picked up, a, I invested another $157,000 of my own money, about a million and six, uh, uh, one million six hundred thousand units uh, off the, took uh, down of the financing. And uh, I, I haven't looked at the numbers, but I think I probably have about 40 million shares of opiate. So I'm a definite uh, believer. So the point is you're invested, you're fully invested. And you were talking about some exciting information with regards to a test of your ionic clays with the University of Toronto, which many of us found in very intriguing. Can you comment about that? Uh, yes, uh, ionic clays are basically uh, uh, rare earths and ionic clays. Uh, is rare earths and clays. It's near surface and the top of the surface, and uh, it doesn't. It's very easy, easily uh, easy to process. Uh, we you just uh, mix the the rare earths with um, ammonium sulfate, and and the rare earths come out. It's basically a wash. <clears throat> the studies that we did at the University of Toronto, the initial studies that we've done here, the the the, the uh, there is very good indications that the rare earths comes out ninety percent, ninety five percent of the desorbed rare earths come out within one minute, and most of the rare, you know the entire uh, desorption, the entire rare earths come out within five minutes from the mixing of the rare the um, uh, with the ammonium sulfate. So it doesn't, it, the really, the kinetics is very fast. So this way we don't need to build a, a big processing plant. It's just a wash basically. So for those of you out there, of course, taking rare earths from exploration to actual production is a five to six stage level technology uh, formulation. It's actually quite complicated. And so this ionic clays and the separation speed um, I'm dumbing it down here for myself here, uh, but for those of you out there, you may appreciate this as well if you haven't spent a lot of time in the rare earth element sector. But the point is you can actually be producing your rare earths faster than most projects around the world. Is that correct? Uh, this is correct. Like the 
uh, again, the clays is right on surface, uh, so there's no overburden. We would we we just dig the you know with a front loader you take the the clays out and, and you mix it with the salt um, the ammonium sulfate and they basically you know a minute or two or or within five minutes you get the rarest out and that's basically the concentrate and then you sort of take the rarest from the concentrate um, you know there's obviously there's another step after that where you you separate the rarest but most companies or, or API at, at first stage, we will be able to sell concentrate to, to other operations. So we don't have to build a plan to concentrate the rarities right away. So this way it'll be cheaper and a lot easier to uh, uh, create, uh, get some production and get some cash flow for the company. And that timeline, did I hear you right? It was two to three years, is that correct? It can happen within two or three two or three years. It's premature for us to talk about timelines. We, you know, officially we need to uh, put a, a another forty three on the one when you start doing a PA and looking at prefis. But in Brazil, it, it is feasible to get to a, a to a, a concentrate uh, within the next three years, let's say. And of course, the timeline here is quite quick with what you're doing with your capital raise. We're going to have the drilling completed here in the next four months. Did I hear you correct on that? Ideally, what the the drilling on the two zones that we're we're selecting to the, to do the drilling, uh, you know, we think we can get it done within the next uh, three four months. Uh, after that, we need another two or so months to. Uh, get the results back and 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 work on a uh, on a forty three on one report and 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 a PEA. So we're we're saying within twelve months or within the next twelve months we should have a a much better picture on the at least the two expression the two uh, ionic clay zones and and given uh, uh, more financing we would like to move the the high grade zone the the hard rock zone. Uh, also into the same stage. Uh, uh, so, and that could happen within the next 12 months also. Uh, so, but but in terms of production, you know, I got to, you know, tell everybody here that this is premature. We need to do all the studies. This is, you know, this is estimates and, 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 and you know, people have to take it as that. Of course, Brazil has been on many, many people's target sheets. Tom, Appia Rare Earths and Uranium, you have an excellent website. I recommend you go do your due diligence and start at the following website. Thank you so much, Tom, for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks for the time.